Welcome to this video on embedding multiple audio clips in PowerPoint. There are five slides in this presentation. All the slides have text animations. It is a simple presentation. Each slide automatically moves to the next slide after a pre-selected time, as you can see here. We have inserted a total of three audio clips in this PowerPoint presentation. In slide 1, we have two audio clips, represented by these speaker icons. Slide 5 has the third audio clip, which is the same as one of the audio clips in slide 1. Let us look at the audio clips in more details. Coming to the first slide, let me select this audio clip. Going to the playback for this audio clip, you can see that this starts automatically and the audio clip icon hides while not playing. From this control, it is possible to increase or reduce the volume level. The Trim Audio tab reveals more about this audio clip. It is the talk I have rendered for this presentation in mp3 file and it has duration of nearly 45 seconds. The second audio clip 2 starts automatically and its icon hides while not playing. Notice that this audio fades out for 2 seconds. And now we will see more about this clip from Trim Audio tab. This is music audio, which is 21 seconds long, but I am not going to play it for 21 seconds. I am trimming the music clip for just 10 seconds toward the beginning. Remember, this music fades out for 2 seconds. This means it plays for 8 seconds and then fades out over 2 seconds. Let me now go to the slide 5, where I have embedded the same music clip. Selecting playback for this audio, you can see that this one fades in for 2 seconds. Let me click Trim Audio now. See, I have used the same audio here, but this time I have trimmed it to the last 8 seconds. This means the music fades in for 2 seconds in the last slide. It then plays for 6 seconds before ending. We will now look at the animations of the audio clips. But before that, take a look at how you can record audio within PowerPoint itself. The Record Sound dialog box has the options to start recording, stop recording, and then play it to see how it has come. After you are satisfied with your recording, click the button OK and PowerPoint automatically embeds it in the slide. Let's now check out the animations of the audio clips. Let me open the animation pane that comes on the right. The music clip starts automatically, with previous, and after a delay of one second. This happens in the first slide. The talk audio clip also starts automatically and with previous, but has a delay of 9.5 seconds. In other words, as the music clip is about to end, the talk clip starts to play. Remember, the talk clip has to run for all the slides. Let us check up that. 
From this drop down, let me select effect options. In this dialog box, play audio, you can see the talk clip will stop playing only after 5 slides. Which is what we want, isn't so? The music clip in the last slide also starts automatically and with previous. Now we know our all the three audio clip settings are perfectly in order as we want. What next? Let us check out the presentation. Welcome to this demo presentation. We are going to see how to embed multiple audio clips in the PowerPoint slides. Opening music is embedded in slide 1. It starts after 1 second delay and continues for 10 seconds. The talk starts after that. Slide 1 has duration of 14 seconds. Slide 2 has duration of 3 seconds. Slide 3 has duration of 9 seconds. And slide 4 has 21 seconds duration. Thanks for watching. Well, it has come OK. Before I end, let me show you how to reduce the total file size by optimizing the audio clips. Going to File tab at the top, let me click on it. Now from these options, let me go to Compress Media from Info. It says there are two media files that contain trimmed portions. Which is true and our job will be to remove the trimmed portions so that the overall file size reduces. Let me click on Compress Media. PowerPoint goes to work and does all the cutting and trimming for us. How to know that? Here is the presentation after Compress Media. Let us find out what has happened to the music files. Here in slide 5, as you can see, the length of the music is only 8.37 seconds, exactly what we are actually using. It is the same in slide 1. Here, the length of the music is a tad longer, 10.041 seconds. There is no sign of the remaining audio clip. So there you are. There is a lot you can do by inserting multiple audio clips in PowerPoint. What you see in this video is just one example of that. This video tutorial ends now. Thanks for watching.